may be a bit older than some of you whippersnappers watching my videos, but that doesn't mean I'm out of touch. I can get down with the lingo. I've had a slice of avocado toast. I even listen to some of the same music that you all do. No, I'm not just holed up in my bedroom listening to the Rolling Stones and dreaming about the good old days. Oh no, I like following the successful people of now pretty closely, which is precisely why I've got more knowledge of Beyonce and Jay-Z than most people around my age. I wouldn't say that I'm a member of the Beehive, but Beyonce is the most Grammy-nominated female artist of all time, and the second highest winning female artist with 24 wins, which is impressive enough for me to consider being a member. But aside from her Grammy nominations and fans, Beyonce has a few other things going for her. She has a net worth of $420 million, and her husband, Jay-Z, has a net worth of $1 billion. Jay-Z's wealth comes from his diversified empire, which includes ownership of a music streaming service, a champagne brand, and a cognac brand, as well as his own entertainment label and sports management company. So, with a combined net worth of a whopping $1.42 billion, it's safe to assume Beyonce and Jay-Z are living a pretty good life. But just how good is it? Let's take a look at the $88 million mansion they just bought and find out. We'll explore their rather complicated mansion hunting venture, the history of this impressive property, and even get a glimpse of what the interior looks like, so we can understand how some of the most decorated artists of all time actually live. Louisa wasn't completely right when they sang their little song about Beverly Hills, because most super wealthy people actually want to be in the neighboring town, Bel Air. As of October 2020, the average cost of a house in Bel Air is a whopping $3.6 million, and Zillow expects that price to rise 6.7% over the next year. So, it may come as no surprise that Beyonce and Jay-Z scoot up a property there. And as we all know, buying property isn't an easy endeavor. There are people you have to compete with, negotiations that take place, and of course, banks to deal with. But when you're famous, surely it has to be a breeze, right? Well, not exactly. In 2014, Beyonce and Jay-Z put a bid in on a $70 million mansion in Beverly Hills. However, they were quickly outbid by Marcus Person, the creator of Minecraft, who offered to pay in cash. So next, they put a bid in on a different Beverly Hills mansion, offering $49 million. However, they were once again outbid, this time by Tom Ford, who offered $50 million. So, house hunting isn't exactly easy for anyone. Even Beyonce and Jay-Z can be rejected. That being said, though, they weren't exactly living on the streets while they waited to find the perfect home. Instead, they rented a mansion that reportedly cost them $150,000 per month. For a bit of reference, the average cost of rent in Los Angeles is $2,524. Then, in 2017, they found the house of their dreams, a mansion that's priced was jaw-dropping. It's estimated the mansion was originally listed at $120 million, but the power couple managed to snag it for the low, low price of $88 million. Back in 2017, the property was the highest selling in Los Angeles County, and the way they purchased the house just goes to show that even with all the money in the world, it still helps to have the bank involved. According to Los Angeles Times, the couple took out a casual and not at all shocking $52.8 million dollar mortgage, which equals more than $200,000 per month over a 30-year period. Although, my guess would be they'll have it paid off in a lot less time than that. So, what kind of home do you get in Los Angeles for $88 million? A pretty big one, with a gorgeous view. The home was actually brand new. The 1.88-acre lot was once home to a 9,000-square-foot colonial revival home, but it was purchased and demolished to make room for something much more modern and flashy. The open and airy 30,000 square foot home was designed by Paul McLean, and my, 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 is it a clean looking design. Paul McLean is known for his opulent giga mansions that feature indoor-outdoor living and glass walls to open homeowners up to the elements and views around them. And that's exactly what he created with Beyonce and Jay-Z's home. As I said, the sprawling estate has 30,000 square feet of living space, which is spread across six separate buildings. First, let's take a look at the main home, where one can assume they'd spend most of their time. The home has eight bedrooms and 11 bathrooms, as well as a 15-car garage that goes underneath the home, perfect for storing all the luxury cars that I know they 
can afford. Upon looking at the house, the first thing you notice are the massive glass walls, including a 54-foot tall glass wall in the main living area. And though this glass does serve a few aesthetic purposes, letting the beautiful California sunshine in and giving the owners a more open space, it actually serves another purpose, safety. The glass is bulletproof, so if their home was ever attacked by a Jay-Z hating mob or Becky with the good hair, it'd be safe and sound. The kitchen is stunning, featuring warm wood floors and patio doors that give access to one of the mini outdoor areas in case the family wants to dine al fresco. The kitchen came with brand new Miel appliances, including the cooktop that runs for around $1,800. There is not one, but two large kitchen islands that are made of a light granite, which were custom made in Italy. This custom made Italian granite is carried throughout the home, especially in the living area connected to the kitchen. The living area features a fireplace with a light granite, giving an elevated look to the space. Next, we'll take a look at the bedrooms, but to do that, we'll have to journey upstairs using what I believe to be the most incredible piece in the house, the Grand Staircase. The Grand Staircase appears to be cut from a single piece of wood and carefully molded into a sophisticated spiral shape. The staircase looks almost like a sculpture with the rich colors and expensive materials. The stairs are made of limestone and the railing is lined with warm brown leather. It's not known whether or not Beyonce and Jay-Z are using the room that was designed as the master bedroom as their actual master bedroom, but I don't see why they wouldn't. The master bedroom is rather simple with white marble floors and walls. The ceiling is neutral with a subtle linear design that draws your eye to the glass windows that cover one side of the room. The windows can retract at the touch of a button, giving them access to a private balcony with beautiful views. On the other wall is a fireplace that is also surrounded by glass. There is also a walk-in closet with floor-to-ceiling windows and warm lighting, which creates a soothing atmosphere for the couple to pick out their wardrobe for the day. One of the minimalist bathrooms features glass walls with beautiful views of the gardens on the property. There's a soaking tub, of course, as well as a rainfall shower with fixtures created by yet another Italian company, Jesse. In what appears to be a guest bedroom, there are Colasotta marble floors and a limestone sink. There's a wall-mounted tankless toilet, which ensures the couples and their guests will never have to touch a toilet to open, close, or flush in this home. The future is now, ladies and gentlemen, and it started with toilets. Of course, there are a few rooms that are a bit more entertaining than the bedroom and bathrooms, including the home theater. Featuring a huge screen and plush chairs, it seems like a pretty cozy place to curl up and watch Homecoming or Black is King. I mean, everyone who makes videos has to watch them back in their own home theater every once in a while, right? Not that I do it or anything. <clears throat> Watching habits aside, the theater has nice carpeting and a door that is said to be made of lizard skin. You can cue the reptilian Illuminati suspicions now, I suppose. And then there's the spa. The spa features his and her saunas with a plunge pool in the middle, perfect for relaxing their muscles after a few weeks on tour. Although I have a feeling most of their relaxing will be done outside. The outside space is broken down into several different terraces and levels, including multiple grass play areas. There's not one, not two, but four pools total. There's a black rooftop pool that offers the best views the home has to offer, and three other pools that are on various levels. All the pools are long and skinny, a design that is heavily favored by homes in the hills. Most of the pools are surrounded by travertine, which also makes up the walkway that takes you from area to area. And travertine isn't a cheap choice. It's an incredibly durable stone. Individual high-quality tiles can cost anywhere between $20 to $30 a piece. Though the travertine walkways and patios do offer plenty of room to have parties and invite guests over, which is one of the reasons why there is a helipad on top of the home. I mean, surely Beyonce and Jay-Z have friends fly in to visit them in style. Nobody wants to drive on LA freeways, even if they're being chauffeured. The home also features a staff quarters, so the couple doesn't have to worry about cleaning up after themselves when they have guests over. That being said, cleaning a house of this size isn't cheap. If you're interested in how much they pay, make sure to check out the video I made on that here. So, there you have it, the beautiful home of Beyonce and Jay-Z. Do you think it's worth $88 million? What's your favorite part of the home? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications.